everyone this is ramalinga prasad kuppa welcome to my channel pharma world today's topic is product development stages part 1 there are several important stages and milestones in the product development the stages include from inception till the commercialization step basic stages start from laboratory followed by bench top experimentation further followed by pilot scale evaluation after successful evaluation the process will be commercialized after proper validations let us discuss few steps in this video product development step 1 as step 1 following should be looked into with a scientific rationale the sequence of steps should be followed product identification is the first step all the steps have to be addressed in a scientific way icchq9 will support the risk assessment in a very much detail there are nine important tools in the guide for evaluation of risk the assessment should include safety of operations optimum time cycles market demand feasibility of the process for commercialization etc also product identification for development depends on the market requirement product identification totally depends on the market requirement futuristic market requirement may also be identified in this step the market may be a specific customer or contract manufacturing as explained above the market may be any specific customer or any general customer it is necessary to evaluate the customer for continued business opportunities for long term benefits there are several customers who wants the product under contract manufacturing also all these aspects have to be considered detailed survey has to be conducted for the demand for long term business opportunities so as a business opportunity long term focus is recommended the survey should focus on seasonal variations too the demand may not be continuous it may vary seasonally in some seasons it may be more than usual these aspects have to be considered in step 2 literature survey on the product should be carried out any possible patent infringement issues also have to be taken into consideration in step 2 support from various scientific internet sites may be taken there are several paid sites and free sites for literature survey it is recommended to focus on economically viable options for process information on patent validity also should be considered it is easier to handle an off patented process we have to be careful not to infringe any valid patent infringement may lead to lawsuits in some cases all these aspects have to be documented fully with objective evidences if any if there is a separate department for identifying any intellectual property infringement their support may be sought if such department is a part of r&d r&d department may have to do this a feasibility report should be prepared taking into account all the inputs from survey by now there is a lot of documented useful data available a feasibility report should be prepared at this stage it is recommended to make the report within a month reviewed and finalized this will be the optimum time for the report 
patent related discussions should be also the part of the report if process is patented as said above information on patent infringement also should be part of this feasibility report at this stage tentative costing that is the consumption quotients in the process should be done the consumption quotients are necessary to evaluate the product cost this is abbreviated as cc which is calculated as amount of material required per kilogram of the final product some correction factor for recoveries also should be considered separately in step 3 initial laboratory scale that is gram scale experimentation may be started now there should be a detailed plan of action for laboratory scale experimentation a laboratory experimentation protocol should be drafted at this stage it is recommended to record in control registers so that the calendar of events of the experimentation is traceable throughout the product life cycle all the details should be recorded in a controlled register for establishing the traceability of the calendar of events at every point of time along with reaction scheme all physical changes in the process should be recorded examples include dissolution pattern of the input materials color and clarity of reaction mass texture color of the reaction mass any frothing or any such observations should be recorded pattern of temperature rise reflux etc also should be noted outputs at different stages in process monitoring should be captured as and when the process progresses route of synthesis should be part of the protocol entire process should follow exactly the route of synthesis support of necessary methods of analysis should be part of the protocol necessary analytical methods for in process intermediates and final products should be provided many organizations have analytical r&d as a part of development laboratory if such separate arrangement is not provided in the r&d infrastructure existing qc department may be supported with data acceptance criteria should also be provided simultaneously there should be a protocol for synthesis of the reference standards and impurity standards if the standards are not available in the open market characterization and certification included if the product is a new molecule and there is no availability of reference standards or impurity standards it is necessary to synthesize characterize and certify the standards development of specifications justification for assigning the specifications for polymorphic data if available chiral impurities if any should be part of a separate section in the protocol development of specifications should be for the process with justification any any polymorphic data or presence of chiral impurities should be discussed discussion on any potential genotoxic carcinogenic teratogenic impurities should be in detail either presence or absence this is important there are structural alerts that could cause these types of impurities they should be discussed in detail even if the impurities are not present it should be stated that way after conducting the laboratory scale experimentation the data should be captured as a report that's called the development report so after carrying out successful experimentation a development report should be made with all the details the development report should have the following the 
report should have the following based on the characteristics of the process and product yields at various stages outputs with a specific lower and upper range should be provided the range may vary in commercial scale but this range will be the base for the commercial outputs the intermediate stage final stage yields also should be captured packaging scheme of the product at various stages packaging scheme for primary pack and secondary pack at various stages of the process should be notified it includes intermediate stage and final stage products also if the product is light sensitive it is necessary to use a black secondary package or any light resistant container the packaging scheme is totally dependent on the characteristics of the product only the team developing the product will have scientific knowledge on this storage conditions whether to store in controlled room temperatures and acceptable humidity conditions should be prescribed also if there is any requirement for any inert atmosphere like blanket with nitrogen it should be indicated even type of sealing whether it should be heat sealed or fastened with a cable tie should be prescribed cleaning procedures and detergents to be used detailed cleaning procedures for equipment including the usage of suitable detergents should be captured in the report stability study conditions should be prescribed depending on the type of the product conditions appropriate to the characteristics of the product the conditions should include accelerated long term and intermediate conditions if required reprocess and rework procedures reprocess or rework procedures for any possible routine failures should be indicated in the report routine failures may include failure of any filtration because of which there could be some ingress of carbon particles or recrystallization to remove any organic impurities reintroduction of reaction mass into uh, in case of incompletion of reaction etc but in case of any failure that is not part of the development report should be referred to r&d for salvation other important points to be captured in the development report are as follows recovery and reuse of solvents reagents solvents that are used as vehicles for the process to move forward will be recovered usage of the recovered solvents in the process should be monitored it is recommended to use the recovered solvents in the same step from which it was recovered if it is required to be used in any of the step a detailed validated recovery procedure is required certain reagents like palladium or nickel are recovered from the process for reuse details of recoveries should be part of the report recovery and reuse of materials Reco recovery of materials include recovery of intermediates or apis from the mother liquor or from filters should be discussed and detailed information should be captured such recoveries are called as second crop the second crop recovery should be a part of the report for economical viability of the process justified specifications for such recoveries specifications for required solvents or materials need not be same as the original specifications suitable specifications justifiable have to be assigned for example for a required solvent it may be adequate to check purity by gc and water content provided the solvent is reused in the same step similarly second crop materials may be checked for impurities the tea hold time clean hold time 
So dirty hold time and clean hold times also should be part of the development report. Safety precautions. Necessary safety precautions during the processing steps are required for safe operations. Waste disposal. Waste disposal information is helpful to evaluate the load on the effluent treatment plant to take any additional steps if required. Overall, the report should have information on background of the project, list of raw materials, process flow diagram, lab process protocol, basic procedure, material safety data sheets of raw materials, specifications of raw materials and various process stages, its justification, synthetic scheme, in-process controls, cleaning requirements, storage and packaging conditions, stability recommendations, summary, conclusions and a sign-off page and lastly the specimen BPCR. Initial stages of the product development are discussed in this video. Finer details of the development report are elaborated. I hope that the details from the inception till the drafting the development report are understood well. Some more intricate points of the product development will be discussed in coming up video training programs. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.